Persephone, the goddess of spring and the queen of the underworld, represents the duality of the feminine. To be able to create beauty and to be a witness to the evolution of life and the liminality of existence. So I always make a Pinterest board when I'm doing something like this. This helps me visually, this helps me learn a bit about them because there's some good information on here. People put together little snippets of, you know, lore and things like that. But for me, mostly, this is separate from researching the mythology. You kind of want to do that before and just know, like, what you're getting into. But this is more of, like, the vibe. Catching the vibe, getting a color palette in your mind. So that's what I'm gonna do. So one of the things I wanted to capture with Persephone is this duality between the light and the dark. So we know she's the goddess of spring, but she's also the queen of the underworld. So it's really fun. It's a lot that we can play with. And I wanted to, I see a lot of people do, especially in like costumes and stuff, they choose kind of either one or the other. I wanna kind of merge it into one. And this is so cool right now too, because this would be the time that Persephone is returning to the underworld, just around Sawin. So it's really pretty cool that we're doing this right now. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to make Goddess of Spring spooky. And like, that's so exciting. <laughs> so I think I have a good grip on the vibe. Um, like I said, I want to merge that dark and light and really make this so cool. I don't have any particular way of doing the makeup that I'm really thinking besides I really want to have pomegranate colored lips I think that's just fun but I'm excited one thing that I am doing with this is this whole video is gonna be kind of an offering to Persephone welcome welcoming her back to the underworld and just like like a hey like you're really cool you know this is nice so I'm excited about that so I hope you're excited we're going to be doing some little glamour magic tricks throughout. I'll bring you along with me as we do that. And let's just get started with it. Before we get going with the video, I want to give a huge thank you to Dossier for collaborating with me on today's video. If you don't know, Dossier is a perfume company that creates high quality luxury perfumes at a fraction of the price of you know your typical chanel's dior's ysl things like that and you can find exact exact perfumes they smell the same and they're amazing and they're literally so affordable i've got two perfumes to show you today i chose these based on persephone's energy and what we're kind of going for today and this is exciting because usually i choose two perfumes that have the vibe of what i'm doing you guys today i have a perfume for persephone and a perfume for hades or a cologne for hades and i think it's perfect for this video one thing i love about dossier is that they have a risk-free system so if you get a perfume you open it and you don't love it you can return it for free no questions asked within 30 days so you know how i said they're super affordable okay they are so this is my persephone perfume this is floral lang lang you guys know i love lang lang and this is inspired by chanel's gabrielle perfume floral lang lang is literally only 29 dollars I'm gonna buy that for all my friends. The notes of the floral Lang Lang are lily, grapefruit, blackberry for the top notes, Lang Lang tuberose and jasmine for middle, and musk, orange blossom, and orris for the base notes. This perfume, it's really beautifully sweet. I think the fruitiness does come through a bit, but it's the floraliness too. It's it's really a beautiful combo of fruity and floral. It's also got musk in it on that on that base note, which it really I don't know. To me, that's like goddess of the underworld and also um, queen of the underworld, goddess of spring. You know, like it's like that musk gives it that real depth to it. And then you've just got those top notes of the fruitiness, like the goddess of spring. It's it's really beautiful. I really love this. I can tell this is gonna be one of my favorites. And you guys, make sure to use my code. You can use the code LUNA5. You'll get 5% off your order. And you can combine it with bulk discounts when you buy three or more perfumes. Do you guys wanna, do you guys wanna guess what perfume I got for Hades? 
and I guess this. Also, if you work with Hades, if you're like a witch who works with Hades, you can use this as a sort of offering. You can wear it as an offering. You can give it to a man in your life as an offering for Hades, things like that. This is perfect. When I saw this, I couldn't pass it up. Okay, this is the Woody Tobacco, you guys. Perfect. Woody Tobacco is inspired by Maison Margiela Replica Jazz Club Eau de Toilette. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. Even for being um, unisex, there are uh, vanillas on the bottom notes. We've got, okay, for top notes, we've got lemon, pink pepper, and neroli. Middle notes are rum, dry fruits, blonde woods. And base notes are styrax, tobacco leaves, and vanilla. And it's really nice because that sweetness does come through. The vanilla really does come through. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit on. It might be crazy, it might be a crazy mix, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh, that feels cozy. Oh, wear this to a rainy bookstore. <laughs> Dossier also has a new payment method called Catch where you can earn store credit. So when you are purchasing your items at the very last step of checkout, make sure to select Catch. You'll get a $10 sign-on bonus and 10% credit for every order. You guys know I love Dossier. I don't have to tell you that, but I love to. Thank you so much, Dossier, for collaborating with me on this video. Let me know if you guys get any perfumes and we can be scent twins. Okay, back to the video. So the first thing that I want to do to prep for this look is put on some nails. So you guys know I love nails. I kind of mixed a couple of nails that I just had the packages like laying around. Um, and I thought this was a really fun color and kind of a very underworldy vibe. I was really digging it. Then I want to get into some skincare, so I put on my little glamour magic robe and I set the scene. I'm using a couple of different products today, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to use a lip scrub, lip balm, some of the red clover oil that I made on the new moon, and some of this new lotion that I got. So I basically am just prepping my face for makeup in a little bit of an extra way. You know, goddess of spring, you've gotta be dewy. You've gotta be, you know, hydrated. So let's get into the transformation. So I'm starting with makeup. You guys know I love using my foundation to put sigils and icons in my face. Well, I tried to do a little flower and a little vine. It did not come out very artistic, um, but the intention was there. So I'm just doing my normal foundation routine. I'm doing very light concealer, just kind of on the high points of my face, blending it out. I didn't want to go too crazy with the face makeup. So for the brows, I had to be very conscious of what I was doing because just in my traditional mode, I go for my usual eyebrow look, right? But I had to remind myself, hey, we're gonna use some lighter hair today, so don't go too crazy on the eyebrows. So I tried to use a lighter colored product and just be very light with the eyebrows. One thing that I did kind of want to go heavy on is the blush. So I'm using this Il Maquillage blush in the shade Lolita. And then I'm going to be using this other blush, I don't remember the name of it, to just give me a very pink and shimmery blush. I wanted to go a little crazy. And I am contouring, but only my nose. Um, I wanted to give myself the little Disney princess nose. So I'm contouring and highlighting my nose, but nothing else. I wanted to keep the face very soft. Starting with the eyes, I am going in with this Venus palette and I'm doing a very, very light crease shade. It's kind of just a little bit of a pinky shade. And then I want to go all over my lid with this shimmery pink. If you're following along, any makeup works. Um, I just was feeling really pink shimmers. I wanted to go very much goddess of spring with the makeup. 
since the outfit that you'll see in a little bit is, is pretty much very Queen of the Underworld. One trick to make my eyes look bigger and a bit more dough-like is lining them with this white pencil and then creating the, an effect of a false lower lash line that's a little bit lower than my natural one by putting a bit of a blended uh, darker color underneath the white. I'm just going in with basic mascara and then I'm gonna put very small fake lashes on just on the outer corner after I clean up these lines a little bit. So I really wanted to try this. I don't ever do this normally, so it took me a little bit to get the hang of it, but I drew on fake lower lashes to again kind of give me that doe-eyed effect, and then I just put the littlest bit of mascara on the very tips of my natural eyelashes. I'm really happy with how the eyes turned out. This is really, really the vibe I was going for. And now I'm putting on these fake freckles, which were kind of an impromptu decision, and I'm really happy that I did it because I think it just really added to the look, and I love fake freckles. They're very fun. And for the lips, I wanted to go with a pomegranate shade, so I'm using this lip liner. I got this lip liner a very long time ago. I don't remember. Even what brand it is, it was just something from Target, but I like it, it works really well. And then I'm going in with this liquid lipstick just to try to get a good pomegranate shade to fill the lips. The makeup is all done. I'm really vibing it and I'm really, really excited to get into this wig and to see how Persephone turns out. So for preparing my hair for the wig, I just gave myself two fringe braids going down the sides. And when you're doing this, this is a really good time to invoke a specific energy in a sort of knot magic kind of way. If you're familiar with knot magic, um, you can use braiding your hair as a protection ritual. And every time you make a braid, you can repeat a mantra to yourself. Um, this is just a really good part too, if you're wanting to do something similar to this, add a little bit of extra glamour magic to it within your braids. We are secured, we are locked and loaded, so we're gonna try to put this wig on. I don't wear wigs very often, so please excuse the process <laughs> that it took me to get this on. This is the Penny wig from INH Hair. I really like it, it's a really, really good wig. It was in between this and another wig, uh, a sort of orange wig. Um, but the orange wig is synthetic and it won't curl, so I didn't want to have straight hair. So I ended up deciding on this wig, which I'm really happy about. And I also really want to cut my hair off and dye it pink because this is beautiful. I had a couple of accessories that I wanted to add to the hair. First of all, this cute little flower crown. Um, I felt like it brought a little bit of fun spring into the wig, and I wanted to top it with this clear quartz crown that I have. Um, I thought it was really pretty and really gave that queen slash goddess of spring vibe. This is the outfit. I am obsessed with it. I really love it. Um, this romper slash jumpsuit dress is from Windsor from a very long time ago. The corsets from Victoria's Secret. 
And what I'm doing now is kind of on the spot, I am DIYing these leg wraps. I really wanted to have viney leg wraps. And of course, Mr. was helping as he always does. <laughs> so I looked everywhere for leg wraps that were vines or flowers. I couldn't find any. So I found these old headbands that I have and these fake vines that I had laying around so I just hot glued them. This is not professional but it did work so it is what it is. It turned out cute. So this is the final look. I had so much fun creating this and I think it turned out so, so pretty. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know who I should transform into next. I love you all so, so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Is it cute?